Breaking news, my wonderful people, it's happening. Our very own brother um, has revealed to all Nigerians that everyone needs to be aware that Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has just shown to Nigerians that he's not ready for the leadership of this country, not in any way, humanly speaking, possible. It says, PDP says, Tinubu has confirmed to Nigerians that he cannot lead the country. And that him leading the country, he will hand it over to the cabal who will lead the country by proxy. His attitude has shown to us that he's not ready to lead this country at all. This is the very reason he resorted to taking it over to the U.S. Tinubu has confirmed to Nigerians that he intends to transfer leadership tax to cabal, PDP campaign organization declares. The People Democratic Party PDP Presidential Campaign Organization has argued that the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has confirmed to Nigerians and to the world that he intends to transfer leadership tax to Kabao by proxy if elected president in 2023. The vanguard can truly, can truly reveal. Speaking further, Speaking further recently in, in reaction to Tinubu's performance as the Shittam's house in London, in which APC candidate asked, was asked some vital questions, which he delegated to, which he delegated the answers to other members of his campaign team, is, is a clear indication that Tinubu is not ready to rule and has no iota of concern with the nation, anything about leadership and wants to do things he can do by his own way. This is what is showing to Nigerians who he truly is and why every single one of us must ensure that we do not allow the same people over and over again. The Atsiku Okowa's campaign council, Kola, noted that the decision shown by Tinubu to completely um, to completely transfer the answers of the questions to other people it shows his unpreparedness for leadership and should quietly resign and go home and rest look after his grandkids rather than struggle with those who can lead the nation Kola says Ashiwaju confirmed to Nigerians and to the world that he has no business whatsoever contesting the 2023 election that he is grossly incompetent, grossly unprepared for leadership and intend to transfer the leadership of the country by proxy to the cabal. He has shown it all by himself and everyone must become very much aware that this is what he intends to do. Those who are not aware should know that Tinubu has no iota of leadership capacity in him. This is why it is very vital that Nigerians show true leadership skill in ensuring that they vote in the man who is competent, the man who has the interest of the nation at heart, rather than people who says it is their turn and cannot even decide their left from their right. So my wonderful people, you can see for yourself all that is happening and um, it's up to you and I to make that decision, a decision of real change, a, re a decision of moving the nation forward or a decision of allowing things to go just the way it is. If anything is going to change, if we're really going to get any form of leadership, then we all have to rise up to it and do not allow the same thing over and over again. For a long time, we thought that many of them, you know, will do something worthwhile and will help us get to a better place. But we have come to see that, honestly, sincerely speaking, they are mostly looking out for themselves. They are mostly looking out for how they could possibly get the next meal, okay, well, to spend on their lavish lifestyle, not because... You know, they really won't change in any of this capacity to become the order of the day. Nigerians, if anything is going to change, every one of us will have to come on board. Every one of us will have to do everything we can, humanly speaking, possible to ensure that Nigeria becomes a better place for every single one of us. You can see for your for yourself today that um, with all that is going on, with all that is happening, there is real reason why Nigerians cannot afford to allow the same thing over and over again.
okay why you know we cannot allow the same thing over and over again so let's let's rise up to it let's ensure that we do not you know we do not leave ourselves to chance these people we are talking about have we checked the antecedents how many of them truly sincerely speaking really have what it takes to change the course of the nation pdp is particularly not satisfied with tinobus uh you know uh, going to uh, london instead of the arise tv back at home across the shores of africa all to the all the way to europe to answer a few questions which could or which he could possibly also still answer here and same questions what will you do about security what will you do about the economy what will you do about you know unemployment and what have you the same questions and um, instead of him answering the questions he left the questions to erufai women's leader and you know to others and that's what people are saying is this how you're going to is this what you're going to do is this what you're going to do if this is what you're going to do then there is no need eh? there is no need for us to have you know deceit at us so this is what is happening this is some of the things going on and why we all must work at it and ensure that um, we the change comes okay uh, we must ensure that change come we must do everything we can humanly speaking possible to bring about the difference and to make nigeria a better place not just for one but for every one of us because if we keep up and we keep doing what we are doing this whole thing will blow up in front of us buhari has already tipped us already to the edge of the clip and as it seems, if we don't uh, make hay while the sun shine, we might tip off. Is that what we want? Is that what we want? Okay, is that what we want? Okay, we can't do that. We just can't do that. We can't do that because if we continue to act in that way and manner, we'll be surprised what will follow. We will sincerely be surprised what will follow. You see? So every one of us have got a duty. Every one of us must ensure that we rise up to the occasion and we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Let's bring Nigeria to the desired position and ensure that we guarantee, you know, ourselves to a large extent the opportunity for a change. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. So let's speak out together and ensure that we do not allow the same thing hold us down over and over again. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.